She works in a state where education is a battleground issue and where the school board keeps trying to fire the school superintendent. But despite it all, Lauren Morocco has been named New Jersey's Teacher of the Year. And she joins us now. Welcome. Hi. Perth Amboy teaching for a, a decade now. Yep. What makes you yeah. so good that you were recognized by the entire state? Uh, you know, this question has been asked of me several times in the past 10 days, mm -hmm. and I, I think it's my love of learning that keeps me going and keeps me trying to learn more inventive strategies to help students learn. And I honestly can say that throughout the 10 years, it's the teachers that have been role models for me and the colleagues that I work with that have been role models for me. And you're dealing with what, fourth graders right now? I'm fourth it? grade. I taught first grade for seven years, mm -hmm. and now I'm teaching fourth grade. That's graduated. a transformative year, isn't it? Yeah. Fourth grade, really. It's a lot incredible. of things change. Yeah. Yep. What do, you, what do you do with them, though? You have a, a philosophy about in the classroom trying to get them to interact in ways and, and kind of socialize in ways that a lot of schools really don't do. Uh, the dynamic in my classroom is always uh, collaboration and support and encouragement. And so in the very beginning of the school year, it's very important for me to establish rapport with them, to let them know that I'm interested in them, not only as academic learners, but as a person and where they come from and uh, what they have to offer the classroom. And we start every day off by greeting each other and conducting a morning meeting where they get to learn how to say hello to one another, learn how to look at each other in the eye and shake their hand and get to share a little bit about them. And that takes the pressure off of them being so excited about having to tell me something that they tell me during, you know, an academic lesson that they're that they're learning. And so they're really you're really treating it almost like an office environment where people can socialize mm -hmm. and then get down yeah. to business. Yeah. Although the business actually has got to, you're getting down to it yes. and they don't even know it exactly. yet. Exactly. Yeah. Um, the you're dealing with a generation of kids that have from the time they've been born so been surrounded by screens. Television screens, mm -hmm. computer screens, iPods, mm -hmm. iPads, everything imaginable. Mm -hmm. How does that how has that changed over the course of your decade of teaching? It's been incredible. They're now known as the I generation. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's it's so wonderful because they have this fascination with technology. And so when you bring in iPads or MacBooks and you create iMovies, um, they they're just so involved in it and the key to it is teaching them how what's appropriate as far as how to pick the pictures that go in the movie and, and how to say the lines that that are important and but can you can you teach this generation the same way can you you know there's a a lot of people say we gotta have to go back to basics mm -hmm. we gotta get these kids in books and teach them things out of books is there any going back or is, is embracing technology vital to educating these it's, kids it's, it's an it's, vital and but you can do it simultaneously so you can still teach them what they need to know but you can include the technology like the iPads and um, to make it more engaging and make it more something that they can connect to are the, are the, are the, at this point mm -hmm. are they open to the idea of book learning as much or are they resistant to it or what it depends on how you present it so mm -hmm. we don't in my classroom there's no rows or in collaborative teams and it's not turn to this page let's all read together uh, they kind of jigsaw it and what what they might be able to do is, for example, science. They might be able to take a science topic, get the foundation from the story, and then go on the MacBooks or the iPads and look it up and create a report from it. And so because there is some value in textbooks and, and learning how to read and decipher and, and take in all that nonfiction information still, it sets them up to be able to read a computer screen that's full of information. Well, there's so much more to talk about. We have to leave it there for now. You're up for perhaps National Teacher perhaps of the Year as national, well. Yep. Well, we'll keep our fingers crossed and you'll yeah. let us know. Yes, you will know. Lauren Morocco, thanks very much. <laughs> Thank you so much.